can't think. First thing we're gonna do is get two sticks of unsalted butter and we're going to blend this with two cups of sugar until light and fluffy. So it probably will take about eight minutes or so. Just a reminder, make sure your butter is nice and soft. You don't want it to be melted, but you want it to be not as firm. So right when you can like go like this and the dent stays, it's ready. Next up, we have three eggs, always at room temperature, guys, always. It'll make the cake come out way better than using cold eggs to bake evenly. So I have my three eggs, never mind the one brown one, it's all good. Always crack your eggs in a bowl first so you can make sure you don't have any shells. Add one at a time. One at a time. Now we're going to add our sour cream. And that's a half a cup. And it could just be whatever you have. This is the regular. I didn't use the low fat, but you can if you're on the diet. Pour that in there. Then we're gonna do one teaspoon of lemon, one teaspoon of vanilla. Make sure it's pure. So I just dropped in my sour cream. You really wanna add that. It makes it nice and moist. And we're using sour cream and buttermilk. So it's gonna be extra moist. cups of flour, all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a pinch of salt. And I use the sea salt. And what you want to do is sift it. Sift it nice and fine, like this here, and put it in a bowl. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to alternate between the buttermilk, half a cup, and the flour. Buttermilk, flour, buttermilk, flour. We're going to repeat that process. Before we add the flour, we're going to add the juice of a lemon. It's going to be about four tablespoons. So four of these. After all, we are making lemon cake, right? <laughs> so just add in four tablespoons, and then we're going to do the flour, buttermilk flour. You got it? And make sure you juice it homemade. Don't buy your lemon juice. Make it homemade with one of these. There ain't nothing like fresh squeezed lemon juice. Also, you're gonna grate. Use your grater, get that nice zest. I'm gonna dump that in the cake. That's gonna make it more lemony, nice. You know, it's just gonna give it that little, that little tang it needs. So make sure you do that. Wash it off, make sure it's clean now. And we're gonna add that in too. Just alternating, got my buttermilk going. And then I stop the blender. And you see all that stuff collected on the side? You want to scrape all that and then restart your blender. So just, you know, have a spoon handy. Scrape all that off, all around, and restart it. So everything is mixed up nicely. It's gonna be thick because it's a pound cake. It's not gonna be super thin. Your batter is gonna be thick. This is how you want it. Not too thick, but you know, I can just tell when I lay this in, see how it's leaning? Look, the thing leaning. If it's leaning, it's good. If it were to stand up straight and not move like this, then that means it's too thick and I need to add a little bit more milk or butter or oil, whatever, you know, whatever I'm using. So the fact that it's leaning, oh yeah, she ready. She ready for the oven. So everything is in my pan. Make sure you spray your pan or you can use shortening and then um, use flour. You know, that's the old school method. But Baker's Joy, that works too. 
this is a little secret I had a lot of batter you see how much batter because remember when it bakes it's gonna get it's gonna rise so because you have baking powder you know so if you have so much batter that you think it's just gonna rise too much like me bam get you another small one my co-worker is about to retire I'm gonna make her this little cute little baby be like happy retirement so you know it's all good to have leftovers or you can have it for yourself I know they say don't eat raw eggs like I know right but you gotta taste the batter you got to when I tell you the batter is so good the batter is so good I'm about to put it in the oven one more secret though right before you put it in the oven drop it drop it like it's hot I know it's loud but you got to do this like two times it gets all those um what do you call them it knocks the air so when it bakes it bakes evenly makes it nice and flat bake it at 300 degrees for one hour and you will see the full recipe in the description box y'all know how when you watching those cooking channels those cooking shows they always have two so when they put it in the oven they take out the one they already made so they can you know they always be like it's the magic of TV I think they make two of them in case one come out wrong actually this did not come out wrong it's actually perfect but see how I have a big crack in it you know that just means it's moist but if you're selling a cake and you're giving it to somebody they don't want to hear all that they don't want no cracks in their cake they just want their cake to be perfect so that's why I made two hopefully this next one is not gonna crack on me I mean I could cover it up with some glaze and just kind of play it off but I don't know if I want to do that because this is her first time ordering for me and I want to make sure it's perfect so anyway this is the keep it real cake <laughs> then we have another one in the oven so we got 42 minutes left see y'all see half the cake is already gone look how moist it is that's when you know it's good just took out my little baby out the oven it kind of went a little bit too high but that's okay when the knife comes out clean she ready don't forget to scrape the edges before you flip the cake and take it out the pan. This is very, very, very important. Make sure you make sure you do this. That way, when you get ready to remove this, the cake won't fall apart. I literally learned the hard way. how cute this is my little my little small bunk cake for the glaze it's just powdered sugar fresh lemon juice a little dab of milk if you need it vanilla extract just a little pinch and lemon if you want to be real fancy you can add in a little mascarpone cheese and a little dollop of cream cheese if you want you don't have to but this is just your basic glaze here you could also add in a little bit of melted butter if you really really want to set it off just a couple of secrets you can also throw in a little touch of sprite powdered sugar and sprite you can make a glaze with that it's up to you so it's getting thick remember you can always add you can't take away so just add a little bit as you go I'm gonna keep working on this I think I'm gonna put one more drop you don't want it this thick you want it a little bit looser but I'm getting there <laughs> 